Okay, sir. Okay. Um, so, my presentation is about the racetrack game. So, let's go deep in. What is racetrack game? So, slide technically, slideshow. Um, slide but um, in the further more, I'm going to need to draw something. So, still, you can so draw what is, here. So, what is racetrack game? A racetrack game is technically is a simulated a car race that play by two players or more. Um, I assume all of us have been seeing um, the racing car competition and horse racing competition. Well, it's technically similar to that, to the racetrack games. Like, um, they require all the player to having a starting point. Um, all together, we have um, the same starting points and the goal or the objective is to go all the way there to the finish line. Whoever got to the finish first is going to be the winner. So um, with that said, it's just not going to be a straightforward map. There are going to be some sort of a um, obstacle, like there's some curve that um, all the players or racer have to be controlling their accelerations or their speed to avoid the crash. And if you go like too fast, you did not control your speed at the moment, you can actually go to hit the track right here. This thing is called the track to avoid the racer to go out of control. Um, so let's get to the rule of the racetrack game. What are the rules? So the first rule is acceleration and the acceleration rule. So what does that mean? Right here, I got a graph represent. So in this graph, it's just a straightforward graph with no complication at all. So by applying the acceleration rule, which is um, each player have a starting point over here. I, let's assume this is a starting point. And this one is the finish point or the finish line, right? So if we start from here, we got our vector on zero, zero, determined by X and Y. So from here, we got zero X and zero Y, right? Um, by the acceleration rule, we have to um, move forward or horiz either horizontally or vertically by one. So we can either move to here or here or here, here or there. Like, Only why one is that? Unit? Um, can be um, five unit in this point. One, two, three, four, five. So, um, if we compare that into the real life, like a racing car game, you have to move forward to achieve the objective at the finish line, right? You cannot start from the starting point and go backward to the finish line. These are against the rule. And then we go to the rule number two. Each new grid points and line segment connecting to the previous grid point must lie entirely within the track. So what does that mean? Well, that technically means that um, Whenever you want to make in a new move, you have to connect it, right? For example, if this is your move and then you want to move further, like to this point, you have to connect it with the previous move that you have already made. And now go to the third rules. So each new move is related to the previous move as follow. Well, so you want to move um, this um, specific move from that um, so right here, if a player move X unit horizontally or Y unit vertically on one move, and then the next move horizontally must be X or X minus one or X plus one. So how is that determined? So right here, we got one and two move. So starting from that, we got horizontal Y, one, and then two. All right, so this is, we are at the um, third turn now. So turn number three. So what, if, what are the possibility for us to go for the fourth turn? Well, we can either plus one or negative one from the Y and same go applies for the X, right? So the possibility is we can go straight up to this point right here, which is Y is gonna be three or still Y gonna stay the same. So Y is equal to two or Y can be minus one, right? So Y is equal to two minus one, two is equal to one. And then same go for X. X can be plus one. So plus one is over here. And X is um, equal to 
uh, minus one, which is equal to here. These are the possibility that um, the current turn, the turn number four that can be achieved by um, following the rule and the basis, right? So right now, let's start over again and um, try to reach the finish line as fast as possible. So in this example, we don't have any competitors. So it just um, one players alone try to reach the finish line. So we started from here. We got our vector presented as zero, zero. And then we move it forward by one. So X equals zero, Y is equal to one. And then we wanna make sure that we have to um, reach the finish line as fast as possible. So we're just gonna keep increasing by one. Um, note that we cannot um, just go straight up all the way up to here without um, going for each line because in real life car, you, like you have um, a few seconds to start the engine from zero to 60 kilometer. It requires like 2.4 seconds. You cannot instantly go from zero to 100 speed at 0 0.01 seconds. It's making no sense. So yeah, so it can be increasing by one point and then you keep increasing by three, so one, two, three over here. And another point is four, one, two, three, four over here. So we have reached the finish line in basically four turns. Yes. Um, so now let's talk about the fourth rule. No two player may occupy the same grid point on the same turn. In that case, there's going to be two players. Let me delete all of these. Right, so imagine the player number one is represented by blue. Player number two represented by red. Okay, so we, draw, we also draw the vector for um, the player red, starting from zero, zero. So the first move, let's assume that the first move um, that made by red is negative one and one. So it's got to this point, um, turn one for blue. Um, we got X and one, which is vertically up. And the second turn for red is um, over here. So we got minus two and one. Um, for the second blue, for second turn for the blue is still zero and one, right? And the third turn for red is reducing the X by one and then Y still remain the same. So in that case, at the fourth turn, right? At the fourth turn, if blue, for example, the blue hit the same point, so it's gonna be hitting the same grid, which means that both of these player collects each other, which lead to the elimination. If there's a third player, um, so represent the third player by color greens. So imagine just green, just doing his stuff without any interfering. So if these two player collides, and then green might have a chance to just keep um, pushing himself all the way up here to the finish line without any interference and achieve the victory, right? And now um, there's a question I'm over here. So wait. a player who collects another player leaves the track and or the player who leaves the track is also eliminated. Um, what is leaving the track mean? Um, well, technically this map is just a uh, straightforward. So there's no complicated like a player have to you know, moving to hit this side track. So let's move to a new map, which have complication. And in a similar way, this map is totally looks exactly the same, like a real life racing map. So imagine that we are starting from here, right? And then we make the first move, we got our vector zero, zero. The first move is gonna be zero, um, no, zero minus one and zero 
Just gonna keep increasing the speed because there's a long way to go. Two zero, and then we got one, two, three, minus three, and zero. One, two, three, four, minus four, and zero. One, two, three, four, five. Minus five and zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. So at this point, I have to slow down, right? But instead, I decide to create increasing my acceleration. What is that going to happen? So in this case, if you increasing your speed without determining what the net consequences is, that's going to lead you to hit the track site over here. These little thing at the corner. Right, that block all the way is called the track. And then um, I decided and realized it is too late to turn down. So I start to dropping. Um, note that you can only drop your speed one um, of the vector notation at a time. So can decrease it to five and one, minus one. So it's gonna be down here, minus one. One, two, three, four, five. So we got landed to here and then minus two, one, two, one, two, three, four, reach this point. And then for the um, next turn, we got minus three, minus eight. So we want to avoid to hit the ceiling, but um, we realize that it is too late. So one, two, three, and the other one is um, one, two, three, it's somewhere over here. So uh, the player hits the collision, either track, so it costs them to eliminate. So um, technically that means when you're racing a car, you have to consider about your speed, your acceleration and the consequences or try to negotiate in your turn rate to be able to turn in time without clashing with the tracks and also avoid um, to jump in, occupy the same grid as your opponent as well. And not to mention that you have to go to the finish line to finish at the first player who finish at the first line is gonna be determined as a winner. So there's a lot of rules to be applying to this game. And came down to the final question. So what if two or more player reach the finish line at the same turn, right? So how is that? So when you try to picture in this, it's gonna be like something like this. Let me clear out all of this. So we got first player represented by blue, the other player represented by red, and then move forward by one point draw the vector zero 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 one move by two point um so every turn the both player can take one turn each so there's no um other player that can go beyond one turn at a time zero zero Zero, one, minus one, one, um, two. So it's landed here. Oops. Zero, three, one, two, three. It's landed here for the blue. Decided to go one, two, which is here. Um, the next turn, one, two again. So it reached here, and Brad turns, go, have to um, tilt at his head so they don't clip each other. So we got then one and two, right? 
so it's got itself over here so at this turn red decided to go um, straight forward zero and two which got them to this point and blue um, getting zeros and two as well got him to this point so we got one two three four five and the side is one two three four five so on the five to the fifth turn we can see that both player have reached the finish line so who is the terminus winner in this graph we see that um, the one who have to be decided as a winner is the one who reached the finish line with the farthest distance so in this case we saw that the blue only hit at the edge of the finish line but red have always stand his line up by an inch from blue which means that red is now the winner okay now i got this picture from the books i want to show you about how to control the speed or the consequences of the turn rate um, from here we got um, player two players one is eight player a and another one is player b represented by the color blues and black right so from here we see that the player blue is kindly um, gaining a slow momentum at the beginnings and try to stick um, his routing next to the track but instead on the other hand for the black line they just keep their acceleration up so high that they almost crash into the track and lead them and cause them um, for the final result to be late to the finish line. So blue having a low starting point and then um, on the very mid turn right here, he seemed to have the momentum than the black. So the black have been wasting a lot of time over this um, fifth turn by just turning his rate down to avoid hitting the tracks and try to get to the finish line. So in this case, the blue got to win because he um, controlled the acceleration well in the turn rate, which um, give him the victory and not for the black one. So this is going to be pretty much about my presentation. Very good. Nice. Sidaro. Yes, sir. How long actually did you spend to prepare this presentation? Maybe nine hours with rehearsal. <laughs> nine hours? Yeah, I was doing overnight until 3 a.m. Mm. I don't, Even I don't think you, you prepare nine hours for your final exam, right? <laughs> anyway, nice presentation. Uh, only my feedback is just writing with your hand and uh, explaining like this is also okay, good. But usually in presentations, if you also prepare this one, for example, this formula, right? The coordinates, maybe two different cars, and it's just ready and just, uh, what is it? Animate this and show it will be more clear. But anyway, you're just writing and that shows that you have full confidence yourself and uh, you really grab this concept very well. Yes. Sigara, thank you very much. Okay, nice thank presentation. You, okay. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Goodbye, sir.